Hello, followers, and hello, students. How are you doing tonight? Well, before I start my show, I uh, would love to talk about love. This time is about you. Do you love yourself? Do you respect yourself? Are you kind to yourself? When was the last time that you appreciated something that you did for yourself? Well, sometimes we forgot who we are and what we made of. That's why if you want to stay in love and receive love, you need to love yourself, respect yourself, and put the boundaries for people who not really accepting and respecting your life and your privacy. The reason I'm asking and I'm telling you about love is just because we sending love to every single person around, family, friends, coworkers, bosses, whatever. But how about us? How about you? Just you. How many times you're telling yourself, wow, I'm so proud of you. You make it. Wow, I'm so proud of you. You just did it. And dear girl, you've been awesome. Well, do it every day. And don't forget to be thankful and to be grateful for who you are and what you are doing for yourself and for others. Don't forget your purpose in this world. Back to studio and you are guys listening to Babe on Our Network. And this is Fiona, Persian Medium, I Am Power. I have a caller. Hello, Dana, how are you doing? Friend of Hi, yours. Hi, I'm doing very well, sweetheart. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I am doing well now that I'm talking to you. It's my birthday, so I thought I'd call in. Oh, happy birthday! Make a wish! Thank you. Make a wish! And a wish oh, I and a wish. pray. <laughs> that is going to be true. Okay, gorgeous. Uh, give me your date of birth, which is, I know that is today, and then shoot your question. Go ahead, sweetheart. Okay, my question is, I have a second interview with a company tomorrow that I really, really would love to get into. How do, how do you see that going, or how do you see just my career in general going? Let me, let me check for you, honey. Well, congratulations, because... I see the positive answer, communication from them, and you get your job. Yep. Awesome. It's a great opportunity. Absolutely. It is actually a big opportunity, which is I kind of like understanding that why you would love to have that type, but I would say Congratulations again, because it will change your life and it will change all the circumstances. Financially, it will be absolutely phenomenal, but also when it comes to credibility, um, to be famous or whatever you are doing, grow up and then being and shaking hand with um, kind of like high quality people and whatever. So it's absolutely yours. So one to 10, number 10 came as a scales to says that you are going to get that job so no problem no doubt and no disappointment all is good awesome that's beautiful i appreciate that of course so. sweetie so now i wanted you to tell me what is going on with yourself before i start my show i just said do you love yourself do you respect yourself and how often you are telling yourself, I love you, I appreciated you, and I respect you, and I'm so proud of you? How many times? I probably, yeah, I probably don't do that enough. <laughs> I do that for everybody else, but probably don't do that enough for myself. And I forget about doing it for me. And okay. today, I think I, I did a lot of self-reflection. Of course. 
Of course. I thought my, my family was working or in school, so I actually had a lot of time for myself. And well, I think I need to make that a part of my time. My exactly. Day. Exactly. Maybe it's time for just your own birthday, trying to say, I love you and I'm so proud of you and you make it and remember that you are going to have that beautiful job that you are waiting for a long time. Be proud of yourself because you are going to rock and be happy. Well, when I look into your Pentagon, honey, I'm also very proud of you because I can see too many things. The first things that actually come around without even you asking me is about that you have a giver personality. People with a giver personality always are hitting to receiver people personality. So sometimes people who is just giver, uh, they are going to feel and sense that nothing work out. People just like trying to use and abuse them. And um, they are not really get what they want, the attention and whatever we can name on. But I have to tell you, when I look into your chart, when I look into the Pentagon, trying to get the vision and feel psychically how I feel about you when I'm talking to you, I have to say, whatever you did for people, and maybe you never received that thank you things, or I'm so grateful for you things, you are going to get rewards anytime soon, which as I can see, by the mid of this year, almost after June 25th, until July 10th, you're going to be surprised and you're going to feel that miracle, the real miracle happened in your life. So that's why I wanted you to just forgive and forget people who just been as a receiver and feel good about what you give to them or what you gave and is still giving. Continue to be a giver. People with a giver personality, which born the purpose of giving means that what you are giving, you are going to receive 100 times better. Sometimes the timing is not kind of right. Sometimes it's off. Sometimes you feel that, oh, it wasn't fair. But I have to tell you, mm -hmm. when it comes to you, it is going to be fair enough and good enough by the mid of June that you are going to feel like, oh my God, thank God, I don't know even what to say and I don't even know what to do. That's why I wanted you to not give up. I wanted you to really focus on your goal. I wanted you to still giving and I wanted you to don't forget yourself and tell yourself how much you are proud of yourself and you love yourself. This is what I wanted you to do for tonight. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, sweetie. And now, um, any other questions, sweetie? Your Pentagon is wide um, open. You can ask me any question, anything that you are wondering about. I can just um, tell you what's the only thing. Yeah, the only thing I, I'm worried, wondering about and is my daughter. She's she's um, she's gonna be graduating from high school this year, and she's kind of still undecided. And she's kind of undecided. There's a boy that just kind of came into her life, and she's just. What do you see something for her? Because I think the one thing she forgets to do is also love herself. <laughs> well, um, I have to tell you that um, I saw her in the middle of your pentagon. And I saw that how proud and how happy you are going to be about what she's going to accomplish anytime soon. So that means that what you are guys waiting for and what she's trying to achieve or what type of goal may or goals she has, you are definitely going to be the most proudest mom ever because she's going to make it. Okay? Awesome. So no red flag. And no craziness for your daughter. That's why I wanted you to relax and just guide her and be proud of her and tell her that how much you love her. That's all you need to do. The rest, okay. she. She's very mature for her age. She knows what she's yeah. doing. That's all you need to do. Trust her, believe in her, and support her. And don't worry okay. too much. There is no need Perfect. for boldness. There is no need for craziness. There is no need for anything. We just need for or be clear. As much as we all you need. Perfect. Yeah, no, she's, she's a great kid. She, she does a lot and she surprises me every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Of course. And I don't know if you ever heard that um, 
You can also be soulmate with your son, soulmate with your, um, have the same soul actually as your daughter. And when I'm actually tapping to your daughter's energies, it sounds like, you know, she's your soulmate as well. So your guys are very close and also doing a lot of similarity and doing a lot of things like crazy close to each other. That's why I wanted you to just like have you as a example and to let her know that giving is the most important things in her life too because you know she has the purpose of giving and that's why i wanted you to guide her and tell her give and receive sometimes we give too much but we are not receiving that's why i don't want you to be worried about it because i can see you and your daughter because having the same soul and she's almost actually your soulmate which i can see very clearly in your pentagon success is coming after you both that means that you should not be really thinking about things so I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Wish you the best birthday ever. Make a wish tonight. Be yourself. Love yourself. And send the good positive energy to your beautiful daughter. Because in a short time, she's going to make you proud. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. You too, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Thanks. So back to studio, guys, and now I have another caller, Mary from Florida. Hello, Mary. How are you? Good. How are you? I am doing well to hear your energetic, beautiful, awesome voice. Now, Mary, give your date of birth and then tell me about your question. Um, it's uh, November 20th, 1959. Okay, my love. And and now, shoot um, your question. Just wondering what's going on in my life here. You know, what's uh, going on here for my future here. Okay, so you know, it what, sounds like that you want to know what's going on with your life. Okay, when we trying to um, categorize your question, I just want to make sure that I understand you right. So you want to know about love life, finance, uh, health, well, uh, so, so love life and financial. What is exactly? What is exactly? You just feel that it's not working out for you. Now let me just check into and see what's going on there for you. Yeah. Thank you. What is exactly it? Is it finance or or love life? Both of them. <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. Let me just look up into that. Yeah. Okay. So when I open your pentagon and I see two things come in the middle. The first thing is like uh, try to not rush in anything when it comes to finance because it sounds like things will just be and changing and challenge the way as you wish because um, there was two things that I really feel extremely connected to. And I have to say in the middle of your pentagon after the May 25th, through June 3rd, May 25th through June 3rd, and the Pentagon shows me that something very specific and very special will happen uh, in your love life. And also, which is going to touch your finance. So, however, if you are waiting for some answer, if you are waiting for somebody to try to write something or pushing him, writing some contract or anything, it will happen in between the month of May or June. And when it comes to love life, it's crazy. It's mixed. It's too much stuff is just coming out. What are you doing, girl? May, what's wrong with you? <laughs> There's too I many. <laughs> well, I'm going to help you. What's going on, girl? Well, I mean, confusions, love, uh, connection, feelings, attraction. I don't know what I want. and. I don't know. Should I drop it? Should I go? Should I move on? No, maybe I should just give another chance. I don't know. I have to. It's too many. You have, you sense yourself lots of mixed signals that you can't even imagine. That's why you need to stop sending yourself too many mixed signals because your subconscious mind basically can't handle. Okay. And remember that you are a human being and um, you are not a machine and you can just do everything for everybody and you can't just suffer for everybody and you can't just sacrifice for everybody you need to really trust yourself believe in yourself and also respect yourself 
when it comes to love, I have to say you need to respect yourself. Okay? So that's why don't send mixed signals. If you feel and sense that you need to, you have to, just do it. Okay? Don't make yourself more confused than you already did. That's why you are not doing it. Because you can't find the peace because it's gone because of yourself. So that's yeah, why that's I, I I uh, I just don't feel good about myself, I guess. You know, I I don't know. <laughs> I just don't feel good well, about myself. Mary, um what happened um did you starting to feel that you are not worthy enough? or you are not good enough anymore, or you are not really feeling good about yourself. What happened to you? What happened? It has to be something that happened into your life that making you feel you are not yourself anymore. It's just a real trust issues, you know. I went through a pretty bad relationship, and, you know, it's been three years. I just, it's hard for me to trust anybody. You've been abused. You've been really abused, of course. It's uh, very hard for you to trust, and it's very hard for you to believe what people says I love you or what people says uh, would love to be around you or all this stuff. So I completely agree with you more than 100. And I have to say, this time, this year, and before June, you are going to change your life by yourself by making the right decisions about what you need and what you have to in your love life. So don't practice and don't bother. The one thing that you should know, Mary, which is very important, is that sometimes we can't do anything about our situation. And when our hand is tied in you know, our resources is not helping us better, and we are getting more stressed, the best thing we can do is about to take day by day. Day by day means you stop worrying yourself about two months from now, or you stop worrying yourself about one week from now. You take it day by day, and every night when you go to bed, you get rid of all anxiety, anxious, and stress about that specific subject or that specific person. That's the only way you can just lay back and relax and control over your mind, your body, and your subconscious. You lose control because you are not a machine. You lose control because you are not a computer. And you lose control because you sending a lot of mixed signals to yourself. And that's why I wanted you to get back to yourself, ask yourself, what am I doing as a what should I do to make myself happy? I wanted you to make it. I wanted you to find a new one. And that's why I can see in the middle of the Punta Gonsuri, there is no red flag, there is no craziness. It's all good. But where is Mary? Where are you, ma'am? Yeah. You need to find yourself. I you know. need to I do. believe I in yourself, Mary. I have to believe in myself. I, I know. And one thing, I Mary, do. if I would be your friend and kind of come to you and says, Mary, I have a problem. I didn't know what's wrong with me, but you know, I'm depressed. I'm lost. I need your help. Mary, you are the only person that could give the best ever advice to people when they come to you and ask for, what should I do to make myself happiest? That's why... I wanted you to do the same things to yourself. You're very I, good to give advice to others. You're very good to make them to feel happy. I, You're I, very yeah, good. I do, I do everything for everybody else but myself. That's why you need to find beautiful Mary inside and out that believe in herself and trying to make the world to the better place. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay. And there's no excuses, Mary. Absolutely no excuses. You know, Mary, you know what makes me to feel so good about you and your Pentagon? You know what you want, girl. You know what to do. You know how to do. And you know which way. 
but you are not using your own talent and your own feelings and own connection. And that's what you should do. And you need to today, from tonight. You need to change your attitude. Change your life completely from tonight, Mary. Because this year, 2018, as I can see it on your Pentagon, it's going to be the best ever year. And if you not wake up, get up, and stand up, then you are going to lose time. And then it's going to go on and go on and go on. And what's going to happen to Mary? Mary is going to get depressed, feel uncomfortable. Confidence will be completely gone. And no one going to even find Mary again. Where is she? No one knows. So before yeah. anything happens, You're right. Is that there? Get up, man. I know. Get up. I guess I will. I gotta change my everything. I just gotta believe in myself. I know everything. You know that you are such a beautiful person. You know that you are energetic. You know that you have so much things to offer. You know that you know you know about your talent. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm just kind of like very curious about like what happened to my Mary tonight? Because as I can see, Mary, you've been successful, you're still successful, you've been awesome. Of course, you passed three years of abusive relationship. Of course, you have lots of emotional scars. Of course, those emotional scars or those tissues does not go away for one night. But you know what? You can make it, Mary. Because you did before. It's not the first time for you. So that's okay. why I wanted you to yeah. do it again. Do it again. You're right. I will. Spend more time for yourself. Spend more time for yourself. Try to have some quality time with yourself. Okay. Take yourself out. Right. Have some coffee with yourself. And write it down exactly what you want to do and what Mary did in the past. Right now, finance shouldn't be any problem for you. Everything you touch will turn to precious gold. Why? Because I see it. Because you burn with the prosperity sign. Because you can bring money because your energies and frequencies is exactly the way that it has to do with the money wise, money energy. So finance would never bother Mary anymore. You got it? Okay. And relationship, you rock. Past is past. Okay. Goodbye. I don't even want to open the book that I made read it about two years ago. I did already, so why I have to? So that's why past is past. Let it go off the past. Don't go to that chapter that you know that will make you to feel anxious, stressful, sad, disappointed at all. Open the chapter that making you to feel you as you've been before. Successful, happy, positive, and gorgeous as always. So yeah. that's what I want you to be married. And for now on, I know you can make it. Now I wanted you to tell me what are you going to do for tomorrow? Loud and clear. I want to hear it loud and clear, Mary. What are you going to do for I, tomorrow? <laughs> I'm going to stand up and believe in myself. I got to I gotta believe in myself and make this chapter a, a better one. Okay. And what else you can offer yourself? What else you can do to make things work for you? What else? Uh, stand up for myself. Correct. Respect yourself and tell others how to respect you and where their boundaries goes. You got it? So you love yourself, you respect yourself, and you teach others how to respect you. People who are not having any respect or never ever did, you're not doing anything with them. You're done. I'm done. You're right. No more mistakes. Myself. If you I had a problem, myself. Time. correct. If we may have a problem with that specific person one time, why would we think that if you're going to give another chance, it's going to be good? Oh, yeah. No. 
No, 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 no. One time mistake, second time, no. That is your problem. That's why people who really hurt you and treated you badly, they need to go completely from your life, okay? Because they may gonna okay. do it again, or for sure. So that's why. New circumstance okay. of people, a new circle of people. And I know you can okay. do it. Well, back to studio. I, I have to say goodbye, and um, I will actually give this beautiful rose to all my fans, followers, and students. So good. So for more information, go to persianmedium.com, A1R.com, and also avidadvice.com, and persianmedium at gmail.com. Have a great one, and bye.